Hey guys, I'm Kristen, sitting next to one of my favorite people, Andrea, and the other half of the Black <laughs> Tricks. And I'm gonna ask her some questions so we get to know her a little better. You ready? Yes. Okay. I'm nervous. Okay, number one. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do <laughs> number this. Number one, it's an easy one. Okay. If you weren't a Pilates instructor, what would you do? Um, what would I do? I what I've always fantasized about doing is um, if I wasn't a Pilates instructor being a sports therapist mm, like the cool. the on-call physical therapist for a sports team like a basketball team and just getting to know about the injuries and the body and yeah. I don't know I think that's so interesting so interesting yeah that's a good one yeah like that. thank right. you <laughs> um what are some things that bring you happiness um things that bring me happiness Gizmo, my pug. Cutest thing ever. Cutest thing ever. He's really squishy. Um, cinnamon rolls. And, <laughs> and my family. And my job. I love my job. So I feel really lucky okay. to say that that legitimately brings me happiness. Cool. Yeah. Nice. I love it. Um, who has had the biggest influence on your career? Oh, definitely Sherry Berkowitz, who was my teacher trainer. And... Um, she loves she's and you know her yeah, totally. she's Love super her. passionate yeah. about pilates yeah, yeah. and the body and she knows so much about anatomy yeah. on top of her energy being really great so i feel like that influenced me a lot in my early years of teaching yeah and, and i'm really grateful that i had that i can see her in you a little bit Ooh, yeah. Yeah. compliments <laughs> <laughs> um okay next question where did you grow up and what brought you to la i grew up in lafayette california which okay. is just outside berkeley and um came to Orange County, California for undergrad at UC Irvine, where I did theater and dance. And I um, started doing Pilates a ton down there. All you dancers. All us dancers, <laughs> all us broken dancers. And um, moved to Beverly Hills to get certified in Pilates. Oh, yeah, and never cool. left. Cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. If you were going to recommend a book to me right now, what would it be? I would recommend Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. Oh, that one's a good it's one. really yeah. good. It's epic, but once you get through the first hundred pages or so, it's so good. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Gotta get through those hundred pages. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, a little more fun questions now. Okay. What's your favorite Disney movie? Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I haven't thought about this question before. Literally. Hands down, The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Followed by Aladdin, even though it's just the one question, Little Mermaid. Okay. Um, sneakers or pumps? Sneakers. Obviously. I have a lot of sneakers. <laughs> one pair of pumps. <laughs> right. um, if you were on an island, could only bring three things, what would they be? Really important question. What would I bring? I would bring a water filter because I'm not a Boy Scout and I don't know what I would be drinking. <laughs> it would just be like me trying to drink the rain. Okay. Uh, water filter, sunscreen, okay. smart. I burn a lot and I'm on an island, so I have to think these things through. And I would bring a knife. Okay. Because I might need a knife. That's probably going to need that the most. Yeah. Totally. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, did you have a teen crush? And if so, who was it? Yes. I had a major crush on Jonathan Taylor <laughs> Thomas from Home Improvement. JTT. He was really cute. He was really cute. Um, love it. Okay. Um, did you have any nicknames growing up? Yes. Okay. Um, Let's hear him. In high school, all my friends called me Vern. <laughs> <laughs> Which totally makes sense. <laughs> Obviously. I mean, <laughs> the classic nickname for Andrea. My girlfriend called me Andrea Schmandria Schmernander Vernander, okay. which got shortened to Vern. Okay. And it got just it. caught on. That's it. Yeah. All right. Makes sense now. Got it. <laughs> All right. Last question. You asked me this. I'm asking you this. Um, if you had a superpower, what would it be? If I had a superpower, it would be to be able to morph into anything. Okay. Very similar to Alex Mack, if you watch that TV <laughs> I, show. I don't know who that just, is. Like, but okay. Go into goo. Okay. Because if I would morph into anything. So I okay. could turn into an eagle, or mm. I could turn into like a caterpillar if I needed to hide. <laughs> So, All right. yeah. I thought that one through. Yeah, I thought it through. Love it. Love it. <laughs> well, thanks so much for answering my questions. Yeah. Hope you guys got to know a little bit more about Andrea. I certainly did. <laughs> um, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye.